This is going to be a quick video. Uh, somebody actually just sent me this on Discord. Just wanted to show off a little bit, really. So anybody who's not familiar with Swigo.gg, I would highly recommend that you get familiar and bookmark the page. A lot of great data on here that you can use to help yourself uh, learn more about the game. So one thing that you can look at are the top characters. And this shows if you want to see how your characters, any specific character that you have, compares to the best in the entire game for any particular category, this is where you can do that. So in my case, I'm actually going to look at protection. I want to look at a specific character. So there are a lot of different filters you can use up here. In this case, we're going to go to characters. And then we can go down a lot of characters we can look at. The relevant character for right now is going to be Stormtrooper Han. And the Stormtrooper Han with the highest protection in the entire game. Oh, look at this guy. Belongs to me. So I thought that was really cool. Uh, I did bring him to Relic 9, and that was as part of a broader philosophy that I have. Um, and I'll actually go into the game here so I can talk about this. Uh, okay, cool. So when you think about Relic 9, there are a lot of different strategies that you can take. For me personally, if we're looking at tanks, they get the best benefit from Relic 9. And one thing that I'm doing is I'm looking at tanks that are good, but underutilized or perhaps not great. And I think one use for Relic 9 is taking some of these tanks that are overlooked and because they get uh, so much of a boost in their stats from being at Relic 9, they just get tons of health, extra health and protection that adds to their viability. So while, you know, at Relic 5 or even at Relic 8, they might not be that great, pushing them to Relic 9 can make them a lot better. I don't know if this is a good strategy, uh, but I am going to see if it's any good. So I started with Stormtrooper Han specifically because he fits really well into the Akbar team. I don't have crazy mods on him at all, um, just protection primaries all around, and uh, decent protection secondaries on these two. But these are not even the greatest mods, but just because there are very few Relic 9 Stormtrooper Hans in the game, just that huge boost from protection uh, put me at number one, which I didn't even think that would be the case, but it is, so that's pretty cool. So anybody who wants to get number one, uh, if you take your Stormtrooper Han to Relic 9, put like your best or even like moderately good uh, mods on him with just slightly higher protection secondary, pretty easily achievable. And actually, if you ever want to see what all the players are doing in the game, you can also, I'll go back to swigo.gg here, and you can look at the relic player data under units. And you can see in the entire game how many people have every character at any specific relic level. So if we look by Relic 9, there are, for Stormtrooper Han, there are seven Relic 9 Stormtrooper Hans in the game. So the sample size is pretty small. We can see everyone's throwing Relic 9 onto a lot of the characters you would expect. 
yeah if you ever just want to look at trends in the game or if you want to be like a first there are still a lot of characters who nobody in the entire game has at relic nine so yeah just some cool stuff um i thought that was funny uh in my gac from last round I'll actually go back into the game here. I decided to put the Akbar team on defense and my opponent just never attacked anybody. So I was hoping to see what he uh what he would use if I could get a hold, but I was very disappointed. So we'll see if... No, this time, though, I decided I'm not taking any chances. I'm actually bringing him on offense. I'm tempted to take a crack at some of these teams, but I'm going to hold off. So yeah, that's, uh, that's the video for today. Just wanted to brag about how amazing my stormtrooper Han is and I'll take him on off I brought him on offense we're going to put him to the test see what he can do inside of the Akbar team I think that team is going to be a really 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 solid team especially in 3v3 but we'll see thank you for watching and may the force be with you